Hello everyone, today we will talk about tens. Part 1, a 10. Ah look, here we have a question that says count. We will count those squares together. Let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great! These are 10 blue squares. So uh, I will put them in a bag. But 10 is a special number and 10 likes the color red. Ah, you see? Now these are 10 little squares. Okay? Great job. Now if I have the same group of squares which are 10 and I want to make them in a beautiful way, okay? Let's see how. We have here one, and then two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Now we will not put them in a bag. Ah, look, now they are well arranged. This is a ten, okay? And we call it a rod. So now, which one would you prefer? The stand or the rod? You know, it's clear. This one is more beautiful. Okay, so when you see this shape, you know it's a ten. Okay? And we call it one ten. Great job. Part two tens and expanded form. So now you know that this shape means we have one ten, and one ten is made of ten little squares. Okay, so one rod it's one ten. Okay, this is one ten. Two tens. 10 and 10, it's 20. Great. Now, 3 tens are 10 and 10 and 10, 30. 3 tens are 30. 4 tens, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Now we have 40. So 4 tens are 40. 5 tens. We have five tens in here, and five tens are fifty. Okay. Six tens. We have six tens, ten and ten and ten. Then ten and ten and ten. Six tens are sixty. Great job. Now, if you want to add ones to the tens, like this. Here I have one, two tens. Two tens are what? Are twenty. Great. And the ones, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. Twenty and six. Twenty and six. It's what? Great. It's twenty-six. So we can say that twenty-six is equal to what? To twenty plus six. Okay? So let's make another example. Here I have those tens and this one. Let's count the tens. One, two, three, and four. Four tens are forty. Great. And the ones? Oh, we have only one. So forty and one. Forty and one. It's what? Great. It's forty. One. We have four tens. We write four. Here in the tens, we have four tens and one one. And 41 is equal to what? It's equal to 40 plus one. Okay, great job. Now we will move these shapes and we will work with only numbers. So we had 26. 26 is what? Remember, great. 26 is 20 plus 6. Okay, now 19. 
19 is what? Which number plus which number? Look, we had 26. It's made of two tens. Two tens are 20 with the red color. And six ones is six. So 26, it's two tens are 20 and six. 19, it's made of what? One ten and nine ones. One ten and nine ones. One ten is what? It's ten. Great. And nine, so it's ten plus nine. Okay. Now, if we have 57, 57 is what the plus what? We have 57. It's made of 50. Five tens, 50 and seven. Okay. Great job. Now, if you want, to know the number from the other side, like this. If we have 40 plus 2, 40 plus 2, it's 4 tens and 2, it's 42. Great. Now, if we have 60 plus 8, 60 is 6 tens, 6 tens and 8. Great, 68. If I have, oh, I have 50 plus what equals for 53? 50 plus what equals 53? Come on, 50, it's 5 tens in here, okay? And here I have 3, so 50 plus what equals 53? Great, 3 is the missing number. Now, let's have a little quiz. I want to circle the right answer, okay? Let's start here counting the tens. I have one ten, two ten. Two tens is what? Two tens are twenty. Okay, and for the ones, let's count the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven ones. Now, 20 plus 7, is it 72 or 27? Come on, think. 20 plus 7, 72 or 27? Great, it's 27. Look, we have here two tens, and here's the digit of tens, and I have seven ones. And here's the 7. It's not 72 because 72 is made of 7 tens and 2 ones. Okay, the next one. Let's count the tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 tens and the ones 1, 2, 3. 6 tens and 3 ones. Is it 63? Or 36. Six tens, three ones. Is it 63 or 36? Six tens, it's 60. And here I have three ones. So 60 plus three, it's great, 63. Now the last one. Let's count the tens. One, two, three. Four, five. Oh, I have five tens and the ones one, two, three, four. Uh, and here they've written only 31. So if I want to make 31 out of these boxes up here, the tens and the ones, 31, it's made of three tens and one, one. So I will have three tens, one, two, three. This is 30, 3 tens are 30, and I will circle only one, okay? This is 31, it's made of 3 tens and one one. Part 3, using the symbols T and O. So now, if we have the same number, 26, which is 20 plus 6, but I want to use the symbol T 
and O. T stands for tens and O stands for one. So two and six, it's two tens and six ones. So we write it like this, two tens or two T and six ones, okay? Now I have 19, 19 and I have uh, the letter here T and O. T is for tens and O is for ones. So what's the digit of ones in here? The one or the nine? Great, it's the nine. 19, it has nine ones and what? And one ten. Great job. Now 63, 63. 63, 60 plus 3. So it's made of 6 tens and 3 ones. Okay, so I write here 3 next to the O. And here, how many tens do I have? 6. Great. Now, if we have 3 T, means 3 tens and 7 ones. 3 tens and 7 ones. Three tens are thirty. Thirty plus seven, it's what? Thirty plus seven. Thirty-seven. Great. Now if I have oh, the ones are now before the tens. If I have five ones and one ten, is it fifty-one? No, because the five it's not a ten. It's the one, okay? So it's not fifty-one. What's the digit of tens? It's one. So here's the tens. I have one ten makes ten. Ten plus five. Ten plus five. It's fifteen. Great. Now, if we have four tens, you see we don't have one. We don't have ones in here. Four tens are what? Four tens are forty. Great. And 40, it's made of here, the digit of tens, 4. And we have zero ones because we don't have ones. Okay.